Alrighty fans of Vancouver, welcome back to another franchise mode commentary with your Vancouver Canucks. And here we are, the year 7 playoffs are about to be underway. But we got a message, or the, or the GM, general manager, Jim Benning of the Vancouver Canucks texted me and he clearly stated, he goes, he wants the cup back in Vancouver or if not, I am fired. And the reason he says he wants to fire me is due to that second round exit. So if I do not win that cup... I'm out of Vancouver. Simple as that. So Jim Benning, man, that's a bit strict, but I trust me, I want to win that cup too. So we got to do it or else I'm out of Vancouver, boys. All right, so after that wonderful threat from our coach telling us that he will fire me if I do not win the cup for the Vancouver Can Canucks, excuse me, we are going up against the Edmonton Oilers in round number one. They had a pretty solid year. And, we, I mean, regardless of who they have or the record, they still have Connor McDavid. It's going to be, oh, Connor McDavid is not there. They have 95 offense, 91 defense, 84 goaltending. Wait a minute. Did the Edmonton Oilers trade or release Connor McDavid? No, no, he's right there. Oh, Nolan Patrick's right there. Wait, is anybody better? No, they're just saying Nolan Patrick's better than Connor McDavid. This, what is this game on? Anyways, coming back here now, we got Lucci's McDavid, Everly, power forward, playmaker, sniper, dangerous line as usual. Nuge, Patrick, and Patan. Patrick just really makes that line even scarier. Samuelson, Dry Saddle, Pujarvi, strong, very built, very well third line, and then Edom, Galliev, and Cassian. Bit of a weaker fourth line, but they can get it done. I'm guessing. And then on defense here, we have Griffin, Ryan, or Reinhardt, and Larson, excuse me. Jones, Bear, Nurse, and Wooten. So we beat them there easily, easily. And then in that, they have Talbot and Goligoski, a 68 overall. All right, so we just got to be able to chase Talbot out of the net, and we can take we can take them, but their offense is pretty dangerous. They have the better offense. We have the better defense. Simple as that, but we got a big rivalry here in the, between these two teams. And yet again, they meet up in the playoffs. So... Round number one is underway at home in Vancouver for game number one. Let's go, boys. First period. Oh, Emerson. The damn fourth line. Come on. Demko. What the hell, man? Shots are 7 to 13. Second period. Nothing from the Canucks, man. 30 shots. Come on. Talbot cannot stone stonewall us like this. I said we should be getting we should be getting three goals again. Oh my god. Caleb Jones. Oh, wait a minute. Ryan Merkley. Ryan Merkley. The crazy Canadian. Makes this a game. Power play for the Canucks. But nothing there. Halfway mark of the third period. Shots are 21-36 in Jordan Everly. Oh, that's a dagger. That is a dagger in the throat. God damn. Five on four power play coming down the final minutes. Empty net for Batan. Screw you, buddy. 4-1 Vancouver. All right, how many penalties were in that game? Penalties. Edmonton had... We only had two penalties, so... Interesting. Um. Okay, so let's see the goals here, so... Merkley from UAV and Nyquist. Oh, come on, boys. And your three stars were Talbot, Jones, and Edom. Jesus, man. Like, Jones and Edom? Like, come on. Uh, we shouldn't be seeing those guys up there. All right, so who's been a minus to start off the series? That's annoying, though. That is very annoying. Who's a minus? Minus two, minus three, minus two, minus three, minus one, minus one. So it's the top six that's f that really screwed up. All right, all right. That that just wasn't a good game from the offense. So let's hope they can wake up now in game number two here. Come on, boys. They already shown they can beat us at home. That's not good. But if we come back and win this, I'll win this game. I think we'll be fine. All right, game two, boys. We're in Rogers Center. Let's go. We need a win here. First period. Oh my god. Dry sat on the Nuge, but Vizalign and keeps it within one. The kid, man, he, he's trying so hard, and every time he tries, his team doesn't help him. Shots are 10 to 13. Second period. Fucking Jesus. Like, Demko's doing the best he can with this offense, and you guys are not helping him out at all. Power play. Oh my god. We're ripping. There we go. Nick Bukestad. Lead this team to glory, man. Game is tied. Oh my fucking. Leon Dry Saddle, man. Oh, this is so annoying. We score one, they get one. We score one, they get one. Oh, it's such a ball buster. Somebody score. Anybody. Oh my god. Come on. Demko is holding them off the best he can. You can't score. Oh my Nick Small. <laughs> alright, alright. <clears throat> it's game two. It is game two. Nick Small, that is clutch. Seven seconds on the fourth line. Shots are 36 24. Game two. Alright, we gotta calm down. Alright, boys. 
Nick Schmaltz just, just helped you make this, help you to potentially make this an even series. Go out there and goal, score a goal for him. Demko is doing the best he can. <gasps> Boom! Jacob Truba. Man, that trade looks good. Thank you for helping out Demko. Demko is going to have a hard time with this offense. You need to get as many shots possible. All right, so Vizalainen from Benino. First playoff point for Benino. Um, Bukestad from Hoffman and Dumba. And then True or Schmaltz from Atkinson. And Kunak. Why was Kunak out there? Oh, my God. What a beast, though. And then Truba from Uavi and McGinn. And your three stars were Dry Saddle, Truba, and Patan. Alrighty, that was uh that was an eventful game too. That was pretty crazy for the fans of Vancouver. Very, very uh various turns or changes of emotions. All right, so we got game three in Edmonton. I can never remember the name of Edmonton's arena. Hold on, I gotta figure that out. Interesting enough, it's called Rogers uh Rogers Place, but <laughs> Vancouver's called Rogers Arena. That's a bit uh confusing, but nonetheless, we're playing in Rogers Arena now. For game three. That was a good game. Game two, boys. You storm back. Won the game. No, I do not want to play game. Go back. Come on, boys. We need... If we can win this game, take the lead in the series. Make Edmonton a bit scared here. Come on. Let's go. First period. Nothing. Shots are 10 to 6. We're piling shots on them. But somehow Talbot's shutting the door. Second period. McGinn and the Nuge, man. Ugh. McGinn's trying his best with that low offensive awareness, but he still gets the goal. Somebody help out. Yes, Nick Bukestad leading this team. Oh, Mike Hoffman, the veteran. Oh, Vizalign and just piling in the goals here in the third period. Jeez, three goals in about a minute. Oh, Hurdle again, 5-1. This game, I think it's. I think we have taken the W. Taken the W, excuse me. Another power play for the Canucks. Shots are 31 to 24. Final minute of the game. A 5-1 win. Great third period, boys. Great third period. Check that. Shut up, blinds. No. <laughs> um, so we got McGinn from Trubo and Hoffman. Bukestad from Atkinson. Hoffman from McGinn. Man, McGinn showing up. This is a line in from Horvath and Benito, the captain there, helping the team. And then Hurdle from Hoffman and Truba. Alrighty, boys. Good game. Good game. Good. Especially, uh, good job, Demko. You're doing well holding off against this offense. So we got Hoffman, Demko, and McGinn as your three stars for game number three. Alrighty, boys. Game four. This is an important game. It either says we're going to go up 3-1 or the series is going to be 2-2. I like 3-1 a bit better. I know you guys probably do too. So let's go, boys. We know what we have to do. Okay. First period. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's a lot of goals. Dry Saddle and McDavid, but Horvat, Haglin, and Atkinson. Shots are 10 to 16, so they got the shots. Interesting. Second period. Oh, my goodness. It's a close game still. Larson from Nyquist to McGinn, but 5-3 this game. You just need to hold off for 20 more minutes. Then Cohen will be all right. It's still a game, but I think we can hold. No, 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 no. Power play for the Canucks. Come on. Oh, I think we can hold them off for the last seven minutes of the game. I think we'll be okay. Coming down to the final minutes of game four. Can we hold them off? And we do a 5-3 win in game four. Alrighty. Let's see here. Good job, Demko. Good job. Three goals a little in it, but we got the offense, so it's okay. So Horvat from Hoffman, Haglund from Schmaltz, Merkley, Atkinson from Bukesad Truba, and then Nyquist from McClareth. McClareth, oh my goodness. McGinn from Truba and Hoffman. Everybody's going. Even the top six D-man are going there getting those assists. So we got McDavid, Truba, and Hoffman as your three stars. All right. All right. So. We are up 3-1, boys. We got to remain calm. We know what we have to do, but you cannot get too excited and jittery. So, simple game plan, sim game plan, simple hockey. Let's go. Game 5 at home. First period. Yes, baby. Hurdle Invisalign, and that's how we do it. Shots are 9-11. to Second period. Ooh, Emerson Edom. It's a game. Shots are 21-18. All right, boys. You know, you know your job. Just hold them off, Temco. Offense, I'd like another goal to help out Demko, but if Demko says he can get him, ah, damn it, Ryan, oh, new, the Nuge, man, the Nuge, you just, you can't stop that, man, all right, come on, boys, can we get a late one, come on, five minutes, somebody help out Demko, he's holding them off the best he can, somebody help Demko, oh, we're going to overtime in game five, already, boys, come on, shots are 26-34, they're piling the shots now, come on, defense, don't collapse, Help out Demko. Demko needs all the help he can get. Gets. Let's go. No. Not after that speech. No. Oh, my. Jordan Eberle overpaid six million piece of trash. He doesn't do anything in the playoffs. Oh, my God. Atkinson from Nyquist and Hurdle. 
and then Horvat from Merkley and Vizalign. We just simply didn't get the offense going. Demko did not play bad, but <sighs> offense offense did not get going. I'm blaming offense on that game. All right, it's a game six, boys. I do not want. Go I do not want to go to a game seven. I really don't. I would not appreciate it at all if we had to go to a game seven. I would not be happy, but game six here now in Edmonton. Come on, boys. First period. All right. Vizaline and Nyquist and Dumba. Shots are 11 to 7. Second period. Okay. Hurt him again. I think I think we took this game here, boys. No way. No way Dumco gives up five goals. No way. If he does, well, controller's going through my wall, and I'm fired. All right. Six nothing now. Okay. Six one. So rip the shutout. So, fuck it, everyone. He's six million, man. He'd, oh, okay. Patrick. Well, no, no, no. Let's uh, chill out here. Yeah, get that power play going. Let's just slow the game down a bit here. Another 5 on 4. 6 2 game. I think we're good. And we take the series, boys. We take it in 6. Good job, Vancouver. So we got Horvat and Vizal. We got Vizalinen from Horvat. Nyquist from Hoffman and McGinn. Dumba from Bukestad and Hurdle. Hurdle from Bukestad and Merkley. McGinn from Nyquist and Hoffman. And then Hoffman from Nyquist and McGinn. All right. Nice. So Nyquist, Hoffman, and McGinn are your three stars for game six. And we are moving on to the second round, baby. So let's take a look at the player stats and see how everybody did. Because I want to see. All right. Um. So Mike Hoffman with nine points. And wow. So we got three point for game players. So our veterans really showed up in that series. That is good to see. We had McGinn there, oddly. Really got his offense going. That's interesting. Truba, um, Bukestad, uh, Atkinson, Hurdle, Horvat, nice showing that captain leadership. Um, let's see, UAV, not bad. Benino still still has to get his first playoff goal. He'll get it. He'll get it. Hopefully. Um, so let's see who really didn't show up in that. So Marinson was the only guy that didn't have a point, but everybody kind of showed up if they needed to. And then Demko, he played pretty good in the series. Yeah, two point five goals basically, but. I mean, he had to hold off. He had to hold off that great offense, man. I don't blame him for letting in like having a one bad game, but offense helped him the best they could. Nonetheless, we are moving on to round number two. So let's see who our opponent will be. I believe it's gonna be Calgary, correct? It is Calgary. So we got the battle of Alberta, baby. This that's gonna be a good series, man, because. I think Calgary was the President's Trophies winners. I mean, 56 win. This is a dangerous team we're going up against. But yeah, guys, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more content like this every day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.